finally, finally gone today. This morning was not going well, so I changed it to this afternoon. So let me just get something, close my door, turn off my heat. Okay. Okay, so welcome to my live today. Um, as usual, every Sunday I do uh, a weekly card sketch challenge that is put on by the group that I'm part of, the Beyond the Challenge group. It's a group of demonstrators and um, they give a challenge out. Like last month, they gave the challenge out for going live every day in February. And I nailed that one. <laughs> so um, every week I do a card sketch. And this week's card sketch is also a, um, includes a colour challenge too. So anyway, if you're here, please say hello. And um, yeah, we'll get started. Let's just put you down to my desk. Oh, I always forget to do this. My name is Anne-Marie Jacobi. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. I'm in Oshawa, Ontario. And um, yeah, I go live every uh, Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock and Sunday morning usually at 10.30. But today it's at this time. So I will just um, look at it there. Okay, so this is the challenge for this week. Let's make sure I'm all straight here. So yeah, I'm not really sure what this little piece down here is for. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like a little blobby piece. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not too sure what I'm doing with that part. <laughs> but the colours are Pebble Path, Blueberry Bushel, Pool Party and Night of Navy. Fire just cut off. Uh, yeah, so um, this is the challenge for this week. This, this, this part here gave me... Um, I couldn't, I can't decide what to do with that. So we'll see as we go what I'm going to do with that one. Let's just put this off to the side. Okay, so the colours are Pool Party, Native Navy, Pool Party, Native Navy, Blueberry Bushel is in the designer series paper. And what's the other one? Pebble Path. Pebble Path is going to be the circle here. It's Pebble Path. So those are my colors today. So let's. Um, get started. Now where did I put my this folder? Normally I don't like to do it this way but I don't have my trimmer in the close by so um let's just see if I can do this do this it's pretty straight, pretty good. Okay, so Knight of Navy uh, card base is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And we're going to do it landscape like the, the sketch shows. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use this embossing folder. This is the part of the basic 3D embossing folders. It's on 
This is not in the catalog. This is in the online exclusives on the, on the website. And I'm going to emboss this piece of pool party. I'm just going to go over to my machine to do this part. I don't want to bring my big machine over. So I hope everybody's doing well today. It's kind of a dreary day here in Oshawa. I do have my trimmer right on my desk. <laughs> so this is the embossing folder. Um, I think I'm going to do this side. I like this side. So let's get my glue out. Glue this piece down. If you're here, please say hello. Sorry, I was late today. I don't like this embossing folder. Okay, so that's that. And then let's see here. Let's move this back a bit if I can to get my machine in. I'm going to use my little mini machine today. Okay, so. I'm going to die cut some of this paper, the Meandering Meadows it's called. This is also in the online exclusives. So this is not in the catalogue, it's in my online store under um, online exclusives. I'll just pick the part I want here. There's my blueberry bushel. I really like this paper. That's that one. And then, what am I going to do next? I'll do the stamping first before I die cut it. Okay. So let's put these up to the side for a minute. And this piece here that I'm going to stamp with, hold on. The blueberry bushel. I'm doing this big piece here. I really like this stamp set. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to use a bigger piece, I think. If, uh, no, I'll use this piece. And 
because I'm going to be cutting out the, a circle with it. So I'm not going to use the whole image. So I'm going to stamp this with black memento. When it's a big stamp like this, I like to do it upside down. Okay, so let's see how I'm going to do this. Um, let's just do it in the middle-ish. There we go. Let's make sure that I have the piece that I want in it. Yeah, I'm going to cut this piece out when I'm done. Like that. I'm not going to use this part down here, just this part. So, I'm going to be colouring. I need some old olive, blueberry bushel, um, we'll see how we do with that right now. Okay. Hi Kathy, I'm glad you made it. Okay, let's do the leaves first. So this is a colour challenge and sketch challenge, Kathy, in case you missed it. So this is the challenge, which I was saying before, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this piece here because I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> and these are the colours. Pebble Path, Blueberry Bushel, Pool Party, Night of Navy. So, Just make sure I've got the right colour here. Yeah, old olive. This is light old olive I'm using right now. The leaves first. I'm doing a little bit, even though I'm not probably not going to use the bottom part, but I'm going to colour it anyway. This part of it might show. And you never know, I might use the bottom part for something else. I really like this stamp set, even though I don't like blueberries. <laughs> Hi there, honeybee stamping hive. Uh, okay, let's go over it with some dark. I was very busy yesterday organising all my cards and now I'm all organised until the next time. I'm trying to keep everything by category, birthdays, thinking of you, all that kind of thing. So I've got that done. I've got a box all set up to take to the senior centre tomorrow. Okay, go back over it one more time with the light. Mm. 
That's where the blending comes in. I love Stampin' Blends. Okay, that's the leaves done. Now we'll do the blueberry part of it. As a question, if you feel like answering me, <laughs> what colour is this part here supposed to be? Is that blue as well? Or is that a different colour? I'm not sure. Okay, let's just colour these blueberries with blueberry bushel ink, I mean blends. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's all one colour, you're right, you're right, that's why I did the last time I used this stamp set, I did, I just did it all with blue. Just, this makes it easier if it's all blue. <laughs> okay, and then we'll do this one. Do you enjoy colouring? I do. I'm not I'm not the best at it, but I like I enjoy doing it. I'll do this one too, even though you probably won't see it. a little bit of blending with the dark. Okay, I find it very relaxing too. Hi Janice, how are you? I'm glad you like my videos. A bit more colouring. I think this, this blend is, needs to be replaced, I think. Oops. 
this one. There we go. Uh, maybe I'll do this then. I I had thought about not getting it this set, but then I just I, I love the colour blueberry. <laughs> Even though I'm not a blueberry fan as far as like when anybody brings us blueberry muffins, I'm like, uh, no thank you. Okay, so that is the blueberries. I'd really like it. Okay, so then uh, let's leave that for the side and then we're going to stamp. Oh, oh man, I'm dropping things. Where did it go? Okay, so I'm going to stamp this sentiment, happy birthday wishes. This is from the, what's it called? Thoughtful brand, uh, no, let me look. Make sure. Seasonal branches. This one right here. Happy birthday wishes up there. So I'm going to stamp that using a uh, pebble pack because that's one of the colors. Hi Anne, thanks for joining. Okay. Let's do happy birthday wishes. Let's do it again. Not better. Let's make sure I've got enough room. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to die cut this one. Let's see if I can get it straight. Hmm, is that straight? Use this little bit of tape here. Okay, so happy birthday wishes, and then we're going to do this piece. I'm going to cut out a circle of it. I hope this is the right size. I'm pretty sure it's the right size. So these are from the Stylish Shapes Dyes, these circles. Okay. We've got this, we've got this. Okay, where is my other piece? 
Here it is. So this piece is going to go in here. This piece will go about here, here. This piece will go here. I'm just not sure about this piece down here. Because with the sketch, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's kind of a weird shape. I'll, I'll do that when I come to it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to glue this piece down. I seem to be, there we go. So this paper is from the Mea, it's called Meandering Meadows. And actually, Mark, the March um, Paper Pumpkin is going to um, coordinate with this. So that should be interesting to see. Let's put that there. We'll glue the blueberries in. But first of all, we'll not do that after. I want to add some splatters to it, but I'm not sure. Okay, and then we're going to use dimensionals to put this on. So put that about here, like that. Then this piece we will put dimensionals on one side. Then glue on the other. because I want part of it up here. So I want part of here. for a second. Okay, now this piece down here. The, the card I did before, I did this, but I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't like it. And then I thought, well, I could just put a little bow down here. What do you think about that? A bow? or something else. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> you do a bow or I thought about doing something with the rest of the leaves down here. But I wonder if I fussy cut this little leaf out, what it would look like. Just partial. Because I'm not really sure what that little blobby thing is. wonder. Let's just try it to see what it looks like. 
The bull? Do you think the bull? Okay. That's what I was thinking, but... I was just going to see what this looked like. Then like that. I'll go with the bowl. I'll go with the bowl. Let me get a glue dot for the bowl. <clears throat> okay. down. I may have to put a little glue dot behind that one. Um, there we go. And then I thought, oh, let's just splatter on some Castella. Oh, too late. You mean put that on? Well, let's try it. You mean put that on here and then the bow on here? Is that what you mean? Let's try that. Ah, let's see what that looks like. Let's that and then put the bow on here I think I'll go with that thank you for your suggestion Okay, and then we can go here. No, I don't know. Okay, and then for the wink of stamina, I'm just going to do a little bit of a Let's just do an inside piece. Um, what could we put? Sending bunches of birthday wishes and the inside too, or I might just leave the inside blank. I just like to finish it off. Because you know, yesterday when I was going through all my cards, the amount of cards that I had made, but now the insides was a lot. <laughs> So many cards I have that I don't have insights, which is not good. You know what? I might put a little partial.
I'm just drop it right here. Just just to have something there. Even I'm not going to colour it, I'm just going to leave it like that. So get all this stuff out of the way. Oh, let's put some bling on. Let's put some little pearls on, I think. One, two here. And maybe one down by the bow, like that. There you go. So this is my car. This is his car sketch. Oh, let's put that in there. And this is my card. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of putting pool party with the other blues, but actually I quite like it. I hope you guys liked it too. And then inside, just so let me just change my view here. Um, I'm glad you guys liked it. So let me change and do this. Do this. Here we go. Hi. <laughs> Yes, so I um, hope you enjoyed today's card and I hope you're having a good Sunday. Uh, it's uh, not a very nice day today, but the rest of the week is supposed to be nice and sunny. So that's good. Um, so let me know in the comments or in, yeah, in the comments if you do card sketches and uh, if you find that they help you or if any of my sketches help you. And I'll see you um Oh, thanks for coming, honeybee stamping hive. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be back here on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, back to my usual schedule. Um, going live every day is a bit, um, a bit too much for me. <laughs> Coming up with ideas to do every single day. I'm glad you like the, ske the sketches, Kathy. Um, yeah, so um, that's my sketch for today. It'll be on my blog later tonight if you're interested in the, all the supplies and the measurements. And if you're watching on Facebook, if you could give me a like, I would really appreciate it. And if you're watching on YouTube, um, if you could give me a like too, that I'd, would make me so happy. <laughs> So I'll see you all on Wednesday night, hopefully, and have a great um, rest of the day. Okay, bye.